I'm going to show you one of the quickest ways that I can transfer the chalk outline onto my stack of canvas for my class. So you have your, your sample painting and you have a clear acetate. This is, comes with all the canvas packs. I'm sure many of you have seen these. They're already 16 by 20. And I'm going to use this to trace an outline with a Sharpie marker. Now here's the trick. Just trace the largest elements. Don't get the details. And you want to come in a little bit. You see how I'm coming in a little bit? Because when you trace with the chalk, it's going to make it fatter. So you want to come in about a quarter to an eighth of an inch and trace the entire piece just a little bit smaller than the original. Notice I'm not going to trace the bat. I'm going to come in and trace the shoe and the pumpkin. And I'm going to do the bottom of the pumpkin because that's way more challenging than people could, anyone can do a hill. You want to keep the challenging parts for people. Now as a guide, I'm also going to cut out the nose. So I'm going to cut out the nose. This is what I'm going to cut out as a template. Now that we've got this, we can put it on our canvas and we're going to get a piece of chalk and chalk around it. We can actually finish this out for people. So I'm going to show you a really quick way to do a fast fill of cups. So if you have a bucket and you just take four cups, quickly spin them around like this, load them all up, and carry them into the room like that. Okay, this is going to be my shortcut for handing out paint. Now, I know this might seem like common sense, but we have done this long before. We used to put the plates out and walk around. Now I learned years and years ago to put them all out on the table, count the plates for the amount of people you're painting for, including one for the instructor. And then you just take your bottles of paint and you just go from plate to plate and give everything a squirt. And if you're really good, you can do two at a time, one in each hand. Of course, I'm holding the phone, so you just do one at a time. I'm just gonna do one at a time. And, and this way, you have all your plates accounted for. You have a quick way to get all the plates, plates done. And I usually do this about five or 10 minutes before the class starts, so the paints are as fresh as possible.